This is Tamara from mooglyblog.com, and in this video I want to show you how to add beads at a specific point in your crochet. There are lots of methods to do it, but I'm going to show you just one of them today. For this video I'll be using Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball, and I'll be using a furls hook, uh, I believe this one is a J, and also a clover hook, which is actually one of their tiny steel points. Let me see if I can put my fingers behind it here so you can see it a little easier. This is their 0.9 millimeter. Uh, one of their steel thread hooks. I'll be using it today to help with the beading. Um, the specific size doesn't matter so much as long as it fits through the beads of your choice. For my beads, I'll be using these gorgeous beads from Bead Biz. They're Czech glass, I believe, lined with silver, so that gives them a little extra sparkle. Let's see if you can see them there. They're small, but they've got a nice big hole in the middle that my steel hook will fit right through pretty easily, just like so. All right. Before that one rolls away, let's set these aside a little bit. I'm going to bring up a swatch of the shawl in a ball that I've worked up, just some simple stitches to give us something to work into here. And you'll notice that I've got my beads in a small plastic container. This is um, with nice high sides. This is just a simple, you know, off the shelf plastic kitchen container. Um, I like this because it's got nice high sides so they don't spill out as easily um, and it just keeps them really contained. And of course, it has a lid. And that's the lid for my steel hook right there. But it has a lid so I can store them when I'm not using them. So let's start with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be crocheting along on a project. It could be any project at all that you might want to add beads to. And I would use this technique for when I don't want to pre-string the beads. Um, I might be adding a lot of beads or the beads might wear out the yarn I'm using if I have a whole bunch on the, on the yarn ahead of time. So this is one method to add them right at the point where you want them to show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the loop because I've decided this is where I want my next bead to be. I'll set aside the regular hook that I'm crocheting with and bring up the steel hook. Then I will get one of the beads on the hook. You can see I just kind of dipped it in there and scooped up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it takes a few tries. This time I happen to get two, but I only want one right now. So I'll just keep one bead right on the hook. It's a little hard to see against the white. There we go, now you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the active loop of the yarn here right back on this steel hook. Pull it down a little shorter, because of course I don't want it way up in the sky. There we go. And then I'm going to use the hook to pull this yarn right through the bead, like so. And that's it. And now the bead is right where I want it. I can set this hook down, bring up the hook I'm actually crocheting with, reinsert it in the loop right there, and make whatever stitch I want to do. Here I'm just going to chain one. Now you can see with this technique you do get a line of yarn outside the bead. Like I say, there's many different techniques. This is one I would like to use uh, to add them on the point where I don't mind that extra line. I find that that extra strand of yarn helps push the bead forward uh, so that this being the right size, it'll side, it'll show up better on this side than it will on the other. You can see it's a little bit hidden by that line. So it may or may not be the technique you're looking for. But let me show it to you one more time. I just made a single crochet there. You can see it pops up quite nicely. What I want to do is pull up a loop of yarn, get a bead on my steel hook here. Oh, of course now it's not working. There we go. Got one on the hook, just like so. I'm going to pull that loop down a little bit so it's not so high. And pull that yarn. And this is a good, clover is a good one for these because I've got a flat point right here. So I can feel with my thumb. If my thumb's on the flat point, then I know the hook is pointing up in the same direction. Little With these little ones, it can be hard to see. So I'll pull that right through the bead. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit. But there you go, right through the bead. I can put it right back on my hook and continue with whatever stitch or stitch pattern I'm making. One other thing I wanted to show you with this technique is that you can actually use this to put beads right in the middle of a stitch. Now, let's say for example, I want to chain one and then maybe we'll say double crochet in the next stitch. What if I wanna have some beads inside the double crochet itself? I can totally do that. I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop. Then I'm going to very carefully kind of pull up that loop that I just pulled through the stitch right there, pull my hook out of that one, but keep the yarn over on the hook. I'm going to sort of slide that in between my other fingers so it's out of the way. Grab a bead. Oh, I had one and I dropped it. 
There we go. Got my bead on the hook. So I'm going to very carefully add it to that loop. There we go. That one wanted, wanted a little extra wiggling. I've still got my yarn over. Reinsert the hook. This is fiddly and it will take some practice, but I've got the bead right there. So I'll yarn over and pull through two. Remember we're making a double crochet. Now with that loop, I'll pull that one out. This one's not quite as delicate because I've only got the one loop on the hook right now, but I'll stick that in back. Pick up another bead here. Oh, got three that time. Drop two of them. Okay, I've got my one bead. I will slip that onto the loop. Reinsert the hook, like so. Pull it up a little tighter so it's the right size. Yarn over and pull through. And now I've added some beads right in the body of the double crochet itself. You can do this with all sorts of stitches. It just takes a little bit of experimentation to find the look that you like best. Uh, be sure you get um, beads with a slightly bigger hole if you're using thicker yarns. Uh, this is a lightweight yarn and these are number eight size beads, I believe, or excuse me, number six. I'm still learning about beads myself and the actual numbers for beads. Uh, so talk to your bead seller, get some advice. These are from beadbiz.org. They do wonderful, wonderful selection of beads and are very helpful. Um, so that's where I've got these. And that's really the basics. That's how you can add beads right in one spot. Like I said, there are several different techniques. This is one that I'm going to be using on an upcoming pattern featuring this yarn, so you can look forward to that. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you like it, please be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.